Hey, Slightly Unblended, welcome back. So we're doing a neon halo eye today, and let me tell you, I struggled. So I'm gonna start out with this shade here from the Radioactive palette, the beautiful purple shade that I cannot remember the name of, and I'm too lazy to go grab my palette right now. So I'm just gonna apply it, I'm so sorry, into my crease with this Morphe pencil brush and just get it packed down and get it about halfway into the lid that way we're creating some depth because i don't know i just felt like this dark purple would look good blended out with the neon pink and then we're gonna go into the meltdown shade and apply it but first you got to clean your brush off because we don't want to muddy so meltdown how i remember the name of this one and not the other ones i that that blows my mind but i'm gonna apply it into the inner part of my crease area like into my inner corner eye area into the crease and get it blended with the purple shade blend 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 let's get loud okay so what i'm gonna do is take this loose neon pigment from blazing stars from etsy and i'm applying it to my above my crease area like towards the brow bone and I'm blending it out so the reason why I didn't show the packaging is because it's super messy and it's in like a cute little package but like I don't know I'm just so scared that I'm gonna spill it and make a mess so yeah so just take that onto your brush I'm using the Sigma E25 brush now I'm gonna take the green one and apply it with the ABH A14 brush and just blend out the meltdown shade with it so for this look, I'm using a neon pink, a neon green, and a neon yellow. The neon yellow will be in the center of the halo eye in just a minute. So you're just going to take this green and blend it out or blend out meltdown and then like kind of connect it over with the neon pink shade. And because I can't leave anything alone, I'm just touching the pink up, but I'm really just getting it blended together with that green. And now I'm going to take Meltdown and just deepen the crease up a little bit more just to get it nice and blended with that neon green. I'm also touching the purple up. Lots and lots of blending. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of the micellar water and remove all that from my crease area. Not really my crease area, but just to make my lid cleaner. That way when I lay the primer, it won't muddy. So now I'm gonna take the ABH eye primer, my Morphe M421 brush and apply it to the lid and just smooth it out because if you don't smooth it, I've noticed that it can get patchy and that's just like my fault when I'm lazy. I've like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, sometimes I'll be lazy when I'm just playing around to see what I want to do. So I won't get it like where it's smooth and it's like in the fold of my eye. So yeah, just kind of make sure that you're blending it out. <laughs> Back into Meltdown, I'm going to take that in the inner corner area of my eye and just get it nice and patted down because right here is where we're going to start transitioning from darker colors to lighter colors. dipping back into that purple shade i'm just going to apply it to the edges of the primer trying to leave the top of it a little bit blank that way we can get that nice halo effect And right here is where I decided that I needed to add a little bit more primer to the center of my lid more into the crease because I put a little bit too much of the purple and it got more towards the center of my eye and that was taken away from what I was wanting to get with the halo effect. Taking some more of that neon pink loose pigment, I'm going to blend it as best I can with the purple and kind of bring it inwards a little closer to the center, but make sure that you're leaving the center blank and don't take it just like super far over because we're about to apply the green and yeah, we just want to have that yellow right there in the middle. Right where we left off with Meltdown, we're going to apply this green shade and just get it nice and blended. These two blend together very beautifully. Uh, there's just something about the Meltdown shade and that super vibrant neon green that just makes my heart flutter. 
I'm just blending the pink and the purple together a little bit more. Now I'm going to take the yellowless pigment and apply it right to the center of the lid. This is where I really started to struggle because I was looking at it and I was like, oh no, it's not even the same shape as the other. So I fought and fought and I think I finally got it right, but <laughs> I'm just like kind of laughing because I can see myself struggling. But now I'm just taking some more of that loose pigment in green and blending it out just to get it nice and diffused. With the Morphe M507 brush, I'm just taking some more of that hot pink neon pigment and diffusing it getting it nice and blended and applying a little bit more yellow to the center of the lid because i just could not leave it alone i was second guessing myself this whole time so i'm taking a little bit more of that green just to get it nice and blended together as well and now i am lining my waterline with the color pop creme gel liner and exit i'm going to take this melt cosmetics liner brush and apply the pigments in the order in which we're coming up with which that sounded terrible but i'm just taking the pink and i'm going to use the ColourPop e10 brush to blend that out take the yellow on the liner brush and the green as well and just blend it all out with the ColourPop e10 brush be sure to clean it off though because then like if you don't it's going to be really muddy okay but what in the world was i like like what this face though <laughs> i just keep laughing at it because i look so goofy now to apply some mascara and some lashes this is the unlimited mascara by l'oreal and i will be taking the chica lashes from colourpop cosmetics for the final touches so this is the finished look i hope that you enjoyed this weird off the wall tutorial today and i hope that i'll see you in the next one bye